Hello everyone, this is Moshe the Electric Israeli and thank you for joining my channel. If you are new, please subscribe and help me change the world one electric car at a time. Thank you to all of my patrons and those who ordered a Tesla using my link. Sorry. Thank you, Ben. <laughs> Your hand was right in the middle of the conversation. Women and machinery, they don't match. Anyway, today uh, I'm going to do a video that I do every now and then. It's about the autopilot suit in the Tesla for for my purpose the Tesla Model 3 but it's true for all the Tesla especially the new ones the last the ones from the uh, the last two three years they all pretty much function the same uh, depending what level did you decide to buy when you bought your Tesla anyway so I'm gonna go through the five stages of the Tesla autopilot suit give you what they do and what I think about each and one of them and make a recommendation this video is for new Tesla owners uh, or people who want to buy their Tesla after they use my link of course uh, so you know what to do and if you are an experienced Tesla model 3 or model s uh, owner and you have and you are using uh, autopilot you're more than welcome to put your uh, comments below so let's go right at it uh, first of all the Tesla the Tesla autopilot has the following component it has a adaptive cruise control the blind spot the uh, autopilot traditional autopilot the navigator on autopilot and the lane correction which was added on not too long ago which to me is one of the, mo the one of the greatest things about it but let's wait with that so basically the adaptive cruise control is what you used to in every car uh, basically you set up a speed you press the button you however you do it in any car and it keeps the the same speed adaptive it will uh, keep the distance between you and the car in front of you many new cars do that the Tesla car does it it does it very well you can set up the distance between each car uh, the car in front of you you can set up for two cars distance three cars up to five cars I believe uh, and the only way that it keeps the distance is if there's a car in front of it it will not yield to stop signs or to um or to traffic lights the next one is the blind spot unlike every car this is only unique to tesla every car when you have uh, somebody in your blind spot you will see a light on the right or on the left depending and you and it will show that light will indicate that there's something here it's on the screen and it basically shows you the lines of the of the uh, uh, of the uh, the direction that you go two lines three lines four lines depend and then shows you cars next to you on either side if you put the your indicator to move from one lane to the other and there's somebody in your blind side unlike any other car it will not put the light it will make that car next to you on the screen turn red and that's how you know uh, I can tell you that even though I've been driving this car for 10 months almost 11 months with over 30,000 miles I can tell you that I not used to it already it's counterintuitive I'm getting used to it more and more it's very good it's very accurate but your inclination is to look left and right not look to the center when there's a car on your side it's just not it's not what you do but it's 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 I don't want to call it a problem or dangerous if you do not look and you try to go to the right while there's a car Tesla will throw the car will throw you right into the middle and that happened to me several times it happened to me several times it did happen it also beeps it does so not only it beeps not only gives you the red color but it also will physically correct you right back where you it will send you right back where you came from <laughs> And that is fabulous. No, there, right? That is really fabulous. No, 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 so no, 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 unique no. to Tesla. Any other car will just show you that you're in danger. If you want to go ahead and hit the car, go ahead. That's not going to happen. That's not going to prevent you. Tesla will not let you do that, which makes Tesla such a great, safe car. Autopilot is basically a combination of the adaptive cruise control, lane keep assist, like you will have in uh, Nissan Leaf or in many, uh, may, uh, most of the modern cars. Uh, Hondas have it. But the only difference is that you will be able to move automatically from lane to lane once you put your indicator. So if you're driving in a two lane and you put your indicator, the car will actually do it by itself. But it will not do it unless you tell it to do it. 
that's the biggest thing that the Tesla has uh, as opposed to all the other cars. Okay, lane keep assist and adaptive control most cars have, the moving from one side to the other and preventing you from hitting a car next to you if you do put the indicator and ask Tesla to move you over. Tesla will not let you do that because of the blind spot. You see, it's a much more advanced system. The next one is navigate an autopilot where you put a destination on your uh, navigation and you ask Tesla to take you from one place to the other. If, it's, if it involves a highway and you put the uh, autopilot on it, it will take the ramp, it will merge into the highway by itself, it will move lanes from one side to the other by itself. Uh, you can always override everything and it will put the indicator to go into the exit uh, where your destination is and it will ask you to take over from that point uh, Is it good? It's very good. It's excellent uh, Sometimes the decisions to move to move from one lane to the other are questionable uh, It will move you to the left and then the second later you ask you say okay I'm moving back to the right or let's say you're a mile away from the um, Exit and a, nor and a regular driver will stay on the right lane uh, it will decide to pass somebody and then to slow down significantly to go in. Uh, lane correction, like I said, that is really great. So let's say you're not using anything, no adaptive cruise control, nothing, no autopilot. You're just driving like Beth is driving right now. If you start to move into the center and step on the line, left or right, it will be it will beep several times, it will throw you back into your lane. It will correct you. But sometimes if, you, if the car thinks that, that you are really doing something wrong, it will red light and scream and shout and a hand from the screen is gonna come and hold your hand and move you back to the lane. That never happened. Anyway, so these are the five components. Like I said, each one of them have great advantages and some, I don't wanna call it deficiencies, but difficulties, it's still uh, emerging. I would say still the biggest problem, still the biggest problem, whether in a local driving or in the highway, is the phantom braking. Tesla is so oversensitive, and sometimes Tesla sees something that doesn't exist, and boom, start, decided to slam on the brake, and, 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 almost literally stop the car so you really you cannot just set it on cruise control or on autopilot and uh, chill in the back you got to you have to be ready to react it happens less than it used to be in the in the beginning but it still happens it's still a problem uh, I don't know why I really don't know it's something with the software I have no idea but it does happen and it could be dangerous other than that it's a wonderful thing it really makes your driving experience exponentially safer do you concur, my dear? I concur. She concurs. Thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, and I'll see you tomorrow.